Hey guys, this is part two of my job application process. And so in this video, I'm showing you how I organize my applications through Google Sheets, a breakdown of my interview process, as well as some tips and tricks for the interview. Make sure to check out part one to see an overall view of the job application process at Columbia. Now, going into how I figured out what firms I was going to be applying to and how I was going to track what I needed and things like that. I got this idea from a 2L, my mentor, who showed me her spreadsheet and in it she had a list of all the jobs she wanted to apply to. In addition to that, she had what their application deadline was, when the application opens, and then she had do they require a cover letter, a resume, a diversity statement, a personal statement, do you need to do a writing sample, things like that. She also had on there like the recruitment email address and things like that. And I made a similar spreadsheet and I also kept track of what I had completed for each. But I'm going to show you guys that a little bit later. And so that's kind of how I made sure that I was on track. And I was making sure that I was not missing anything that was required from the applications. And where I got that information from is just the website of the firm. And so when you go onto the firm's website, it'll say like 1L Diversity Fellowship or 1L Summer Associate Position. And it'll say, here are the requirements to them. It's resume, cover letter, diversity statement and that's it and so with that being said that's just how I filled in each cell on the spreadsheet and kept track of it. Um, it was also important to me to note whether or not it was a summer associate position or a diversity fellowship because there's like other things in fact there for example for diversity fellowships there's like a scholarship for some of them some of them have different scholarships amounts some of them have different program requirements or like contingencies and so that was really important for me to just be able to see all at once to really compare the firm and so yeah now i'm going to show you guys the spreadsheet that i made and just give you guys an overview of like what it looks like <laughs> Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you how I decided that I was going to organize my things. Folders actually ended up being extremely helpful for me because when it is time to apply to all these jobs or when it was time to apply to all these jobs on December 1st, I really needed everything in one place. So here I have this general folder called job stuff and, I, and this is just like my transcript and then in addition to that um, it is my like cover letter my overall cover letter which basically I think for every cover I had obviously specific sentences for wherever I was applying to but this was like my main template and then my transcript as I mentioned before I did not have my grades in by the time I um, did apply but I did just send them one letting them know what my classes were so I knew that I was like in law school then I have my public sector job material. Here I have my writing sample and I have my resume. And in addition to that, I have my specific cover letters and a list of my references and my specific writing samples as well. Some of the writing samples were different. Some positions wanted you to label it a little bit differently. So I just went in and made sure that in this folder, everything was where I needed it to be. Now, going to private sector materials, I have Again, my cover letter, my resume, and then I have my personal statement, diversity statement for each firm that I was applying to. As I said, they're very different. It's super important that you label everything because you do not want to send a firm a cover letter that has another firm's name in it because it's not a good look. So be very careful about these. I definitely made sure that I double and triple checked each name of the firm in my cover letter, diversity statement for each firm because it's super important. Now, to go to my spreadsheet that I was telling you guys about, this is my spreadsheet. So, as you can see, here's the job, and then I have the link to the posting, the application requirements, when the deadline or application opens, and then I have if it's a fellowship or not, and if I applied. So I have that for all of the places that I applied to, just so that I could keep track of what I needed to do left and what application requirements 
I needed. I found out a lot of people do this. Me and my friends actually also kind of shared spreadsheets just so that people weren't doing extra work. So if I knew that my friend wanted to apply to this firm too, like I already had a spreadsheet with that firm on it and all of its application requirements. So it was a bit easy to do. And I think that that's a great idea. Teamwork makes the dream work. Going into the actual application process. I should have started this video off with saying that I do have a job for the summer. I'm very excited. I will be at Cooley in Chicago this summer. They just opened the office in Chicago. So I am super excited to be with such a great, enthusiastic, and diverse team of attorneys. I'm excited that this is gonna kind of kick off my legal career. Obviously, I was at a firm last summer, but now I'm at a firm like with two semesters or will have had two semesters of law school under my belt. And so I'm just really excited. With that being said, I applied to Cooley on December 1st. I heard back from Cooley for the screener interview. I want to say three weeks after that. I had a screener interview, about 15, 20 minutes. It was super chill, really easy to talk to the person that I interviewed with, but I do want to put a disclaimer out. I think every firm is different. And I would say that the reaction that you have to your interview experience definitely says a lot about the firm that you're going to be at. Like I said, I had a great screener interview, or so I thought we talked a lot. I got to really ask a lot of questions about the firm and it was just evident that everybody I talked to really enjoyed being there. So I had my screeners about 15, 20 minutes. And then after that, I got a callback interview and callback interview was the 21st of December, which was a day before my final, my last final. That was a little tricky to schedule around, but um, I'm glad I did it because Christmas was about to happen. Like I said, like they asked for a callback interview, so obviously I did it. Um, it was about three hours. I spoke to six different people. And I just want to, put, once again, put a disclaimer out that every firm is different. But I had a great interview experience with Cooley. Like I said, I got to talk to a lot of different people and I got to ask questions about the firm and really show why I wanted to be at the firm. And then I got my offer shortly after that which was a great way to end my semester. Um, normally firms will give you about two weeks or so to accept an offer. Definitely take as much time as you need to because sometimes you will have competing offers. You will have like people reach out to you to set up an interview, which actually happened to me. Um, actually ended up like accepting Cooley's offer before the deadline. Shortly after the deadline, someone had reached out to me asking for an interview. Another per another firm reached out to me asking for an interview and a public sector position as well. And with that, you just are transparent with them and just tell them you've accepted an offer already for the summer. But if you are still interested in them, then you do tell them. Um, obviously for firms, there's OCI that will occur shortly before 2L starts. And with that, if you're still interested in that firm, you should definitely let them know that it's completely normal to do so. And so that's pretty much it in regards to my process. I will say, I'm gonna go a little bit into interview tips. Just a quick overview of what the interview process is like and like what you should do to prepare. I think that there are a lot of interview workshops that affinity groups have, and I think that it's important to go to them. In the midst of you doing your cover letter and your diversity statement, you've already done enough research to you where you know about the firm. But once you get your callback interview, it's really important for you to like research the people that you'll be interviewing with. I cannot speak to the public sector just because I did not go through that process. And so with that being said, I think that it's important for you to still know that no matter if you're doing public sector or private sector, you still need to make sure you're researching the organization or the firm because you want it to be evident that you care about the firm, you know about what the firm or the organization is about and you want to be there. Obviously, if you don't know anything about the place that you're applying to, that's not really a good look. And I think that it becomes really evident when you have researched the organization that you are interviewing with and people really like. Something else that really helped for me is, you know, having intentional questions prepared for the people I was interviewing. I researched everybody that I was interviewing with and I was asking people questions about their specific like practice group or like why they even came to the firm or things like that. And I think that sometimes the questions will come up organically too through the midst of your conversation, which is also good. Like it's totally okay to go off script as well. I just think you should like practice for the interviews, but be yourself, like be yourself, be personable, be in an interview and actually enjoy the people they're talking to. And 
them make it feel like someone actually did their homework because it makes them feel good about themselves and makes them feel good about the work they're doing as well. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, you have the screener interview, you have a callback, and you schedule the interview. And thank you email is really important. Please send out your thank you emails for taking the time out of their day to do that and also for letting them get an opportunity to see why you would be a good fit for the firm uh, or why the firm is a good fit for you. So I think that sending out thank you emails are a really good way to show that you are appreciative of the opportunity to be considered for a role at this firm or at this public sector position as well. And that is pretty much it. I just want to say that it is obviously a super, super stressful, law school is stressful, but applying for a job and seeing people on LinkedIn getting jobs and things like that can be very stressful and overwhelming. And so I do hope that this video helps a little bit. I just think that the main things to remember is like why you want to work where you want to work at and to be really intentional and really, really think and thoughtful about why it is you want to work where you want to work and what you think that that experience will give to you and how it will be beneficial to you, not just for the summer, but in the trajectory of your career. And how I went about it thinking about firm, I would say definitely leverage your resources. So many 2Ls and 3Ls helped me out during this process and I couldn't be more grateful for them. Even I have mentors who are now out of law school who helped me out with the process as well. And I think that you guys should definitely take advantage of those resources. In addition to that, I was going to mock interviews that Bolsa was hosting and other um, student affinity groups. I think that the Office of Career Services was also having helpful webinars on what you should do, how do you make a cover letter and things like that. I say that to say that it is really rewarding when you put all this work into it and you end up getting an offer. It's so exciting to hear people getting offers. All of my friends have been hearing back from positions and my classmates. And so it's just a really rewarding feeling um, to know that, you know, people want you to work with them and that this is the start of your legal career. So with that being said, I hope that this video was helpful. And if you guys want any more um, videos, please comment below. And as always, like and subscribe. See you guys next time.